Key keepers are a topic that I don't normally see too much on YouTube. I carry them every single day. They're part of my everyday carry rotation. I use them for so many different things. And in this video, I thought I'd just like to share with you on how I use them. Now let's get on with this video. I can't stand intros. Okay, so not too long ago, I shared a video with you on my everyday carry uh, Maxpedition Remora bag. And I kind of quickly went over the key keepers that I have on there. Now on these Maxpedition style, when the Velcro starts to go, obviously I just put in a little snap, which works just awesome. So I'm probably going to get a, ro a lot more road life out of these. They got a long ways to go. Uh, currently, I'm just hanging these particular keys off of here. Of course, when I get to my destination, these come off and they will go on my belt if need be. Uh, FYI, I did put a little bit of paracord reflective style on the handle. I did talk about that in that video. And the other thing I have on here is another Maxpedition key keeper, except this one is connected to the paracord that's coming around my back, which ties into the front. And again, I put a little snap on because these two have been with me now for probably about nine years now, I'm thinking. So the Velcro is starting to go. It's not as grippy, but with the snaps, I'm good to go for another 100,000 kilometers or so. All right, so then I did pick up a new one and um, the Velcro is extremely aggressive right now. So I might just put another snap on there just in case you're wondering. That's what it is. I don't work for Maxpedition. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but that's the particular one I have. You can still pick them up. They're not cheap, but it is what it is. I do like them. I've got a lot of life out of them. Another one you're looking at here is a Victorinox style. Originally, it came with a long chain. And I've modified it to the point where I've just got the uh, loop on here, bent it in a little bit so that I cannot lose it. It used to come off really easily. That's the way it was designed and um, I've just left it so that this is on there full time. The advantage to this one is, is that you can put it on pants where you're not wearing uh, a belt, for example. You might be doing a video uh, wearing pajamas and you want to have this on your pajamas with, oh, I don't know, a Swiss champ. Just kidding. But this is how I use it. You may... Um, I say you, but I actually mean me. Sometimes I like to carry a knife. This one has a pocket clip. It's the uh, it's the Mercator, but it's got a uh, a pocket clip on this one. But some of them don't, so sometimes I like to just hook it on there. And uh, I've also made a few of my own. These ones I I take into the woods a lot. Those videos that I do when I'm in the woods, I usually have these. And um, I've also carried, this is a Maxpedition, a single mag pouch. Now this is before, before I entered, in, invented these things with the uh, coat hanger hanger, right, on the belt, which I absolutely love now. Before I came up with this, I was originally using the Maxpedition. Now, of course, I can't get it off when I'm on the video. There. I was originally using these ones. This is the same as same kind of style hook. So what I did for many, many years is I simply did this. And that's why this one is a little bit worn. Is I would get it in there. I'm not going to do it on for this video, but then I would just dangle this from my belt. I always had a multi-tool. And then I also did it with this particular pouch as well. And this is how I carried this pouch for the longest time. And again, this was before I came up with the coat hanger hanger. Now, I don't know if I actually came up with the coat hanger hanger. I've not seen anyone else do it, but. And this is how I use it. 
I probably should do a separate video on these coming up soon. Just actually make a few. But I don't know if it's necessary because it seems pretty obvious to me. All right, so there's a couple of key keepers. And this one here, I like these ones because they rotate. And depending on what I'm using them for, they actually apply. If you want to make your own, very simple, right? A couple of snaps. I suppose I could do a video on that as well. But again, it seems to be like a no-brainer. These ones are a little bit heavy, but I do like the way they hook because you don't need any hooks, anything special, as long as there's a hoop of some kind on whether it's a pocket knife or multi-tool, whatever the case might be. Got a couple here. Let's try this one. So if that's something that's interesting to you, that's what I use them for anyway. I use them all the time. Suppose you could probably use the lanyard on the SOG power pint, but the problem is it would probably open up. This one is so loose. I've been asked so many times on how did I get it so smooth. Uh, you, just, you just keep using it and it does it on its own. But anyway, I digress. I'll probably use this one for something else coming up. There you go. Very short video on key keepers. I think they're very useful. I like having them around. Hopefully this was helpful for some of you. We'll talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.